Hey guys, I'm Anil and today I'm gonna show you how I created this image. I mean, well, not the whole process, but uh, I'm gonna show you the main part that is the hard light kind of a SDR is look that you're saying. So I'm gonna show you how I created because many of my friends asked me how I got this effect. And when I tell them I used only burn and DOS tool in Photoshop, they were soft. I mean, how do you do that? But anyways, so I'm gonna show you. Mm, moving on. Well, this is my burn and dodge layer, as you can see. When I turn this off, the image is flat and all. It's nice with the selective color now, but this gives that extra dimension, you know. I don't know. Okay, I really like it. Uh, and the process. Let's uh, delete this. Okay, burn and DAWs. They're over here. This is the burn tool, and if you right click, and uh, there is DAWs and spawns. So we're not going to use spawns. We're just going to be using DAWs and burn tool. The short cursor is uh, O in the keyboard, and if you press Shift O, you'll change to the other objects or the features in the menu. Okay. And the other thing that you need to know is that uh, you could apply the burn and DAWs on the layer itself but it's better to do it in a non-destructive way which is uh, so this is how you do it first uh, well yeah there is another way that you could duplicate the layer and then again do uh, the effect on this layer and we still have the original down below but it's not that flexible doing this because you know if you want to if you say you go overboard on certain part and you want to undo it after many steps but uh, it's not possible you have to delete the whole layer or mask out then that gets a little bit tedious and you know a long process so uh, instead of doing that what I'm going to do is create a new blank layer and the shortcut is control shift or command shift n and I'm gonna press enter now uh, you may be thinking oh new layer apply bond and doesn't that but that doesn't work you see on a blank layer it doesn't work at all so the next step is to fill the layer with 50% gray so for that uh, you can do is shift backspace or shift delete in Mac and you can choose 50% uh, gray from here and press OK. Now you'll see the whole image is filled with this gray color. But uh, we're not gonna do burning dots on this, obviously. So the next step is to change the blend mode of this layer, for which you can do it by going over here. It's in normal right now, so go to overlay and the layer is invisible. And by the way, there's fireworks on my background you can hear them I guess it's, it's still uh, Diwali is not over yet here I guess I hope uh, you guys had a great Diwali uh, or Tihar in Nepal moving on now this layer is invisible but if you apply burn or does on this it, the effect is visible you see it's awesome and if you just want yeah uh, if you want, don't want this effect you can delete the layer or even reduce the opacity to how much you like or now the main advantage oh now the main advantage is that you can undo the process no matter how far you've gone for that all you need to do is go to brush or press b on the keyboard go to the color picker and enter select this and enter 50 and in the place of H and S, I think those are hue, saturation, I don't know, enter 0, 0, and OK. Now this, the color we have in our color pick uh, palette is 50% gray. And so if you paint over the part where you applied burn and does, it's like erasing away or masking out the part, no, erasing away the part. So let's get start now i'm gonna press it, uh, o on my keyboard that's the burn tool now the next thing you need to keep in mind is that what range you're working on in case of dos what it does is it fills light it's like you're providing more light onto a local area of your image but you can still choose 
which part of the image you want to feel light to like uh, say it's normally uh, range is mid tones but for uh, my result i'm going to select this to highlights wait highlights there you go and exposure yeah this is the uh, also a main thing make sure that your exposure is somewhere between four to six mm, okay just i'm gonna go with five and um, with a small brush now what i'm gonna do is with all uh, my layer one selected i'm gonna paint over or brush over the highlights area of the image Hmm. so here see how I'm getting that extra light it's not affecting the dark area it's just boosting the bright areas of the image okay so similarly in the groups or these folds of the t-shirt I really like to boost this part of the images I'm also using a bamboo pad, so it's very easy for me to work here. But when, but my originally I worked on this image with a mouse, so it doesn't make much of a difference. It's just your workflow that gets affected. But you know, whatever. I'm going over these tiniest part of the images. Now, when you're working on burn or does you may not be able to notice the difference while you're working on it like see it just happens so uh, gradually that you won't really notice it but if you want to see how much change you made just go and disable the layer you see that's quite a change okay I'm moving on, uh, just fill lights wherever you want, maybe here's some, some over here definitely. So with doors I'm just filling in light and later on I'll use perm and make the dark part of the image darker. Hmm. Okay, so just to show you. Take as much time as you need on this because the more you work the better the result is. So part of the nails. Some here. Okay, now I'm like this. Right. Changing the uh, size using the big bracket on the keyboard. Okay, now changing to burn tool and again like we changed the dots uh, tool to highlights I'm gonna change the burn tool to shadows I'm gonna burn the shadows okay and exposure 6% that's fine that's uh, normally how how I work so now you see the dark part of this is getting dark and it's standing out it's looking really good oh, nice do this to the whole image Okay, um, see, again, I'm gonna toggle this on and off to see the difference. So, off, that's flat, and on. Whoa, that's good, right? <laughs> anyway, so, uh, that was a big one. 
here what uh so i guess that's it you know work on this in my original image i mean the first image which i posted on my facebook page i worked for like 30 or 40 minutes just on the born and does too and that's how i got the result so take your time play with it don't ever hesitate to experiment keep shooting keep in keep on sharing and and also if you have time do visit my facebook page it's uh, by the name anil new pain new pane new pain photography uh, yeah so yeah mm, this is my page so uh, let me know what you think and until next time bye bye